This one's gonna be sick. This is the Benson pedal for the the Pino Derby. The Benson pedal? What's the Benson pedal? It's that. Oh shit! I'm on the phone call from Pasadena. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I don't know why I'm on the calendar for the 21st, but I'm. Uh, the the event is on the 25th. I'm looking at the calendar and it says Monday the 19th, but I might be looking at the wrong month. No, I'm looking at the right month. Okay, so I'll say pick up after three. I'll put that on the calendar. I'll be there, man. I'll, I'll show up, and I guess I'll just like. Let me, let me, give, let me give you directions. You, will your phone be on around that time? Find you. Well, I was the first lady to stroke out. <laughs> so will, will your will your phone be on around that time if I get lost? Yeah, uh, yeah this, uh, this phone number is good. All right, man. I'm excited. That's crazy. That's really cool. Let's just open the beer. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, man. Mm. Mm -mm. Let's do it one more time. I just want to get the slap closer. All right, go for it. I'm Luke Pelletier, and this is why I write. <laughs> I got into art and music around the same time. I'd be skating all day, and then at night, me and my buddies would do band practice at my house, and we'd have this crappy punk band. During that time, I started to make the graphics for my band and then other bands in the neighborhood, and it kind of just kept snowballing to where I started thinking maybe I could do art, or like design at least, as a career. I went to Chicago for art school, and during that time I made a bunch of punk records into my computer. I moved out to LA, things were going good, I was doing a lot of drugs, and I kind of lost it a bit, and the songs kind of devolved and became uh, more chaotic. I'm <laughs> sorry man, let's, uh, let's move back a bit. I grew up with country music kind of being the soundtrack to my life. Born in the USA, it's a lot more um, hard on America than you'd think it would be. I'm Tom Waits. Big James Stanley fan. Nick Shoulders, Marty Robbins, Gunfighter Ballads and Trail Songs. Emily Nenny. This dude, I bought this record on Impulse because it's this record, the cover is this madman chopping up a bunch of other dudes' records and it's a cover record of the dudes' records that he's chopping up and I thought it was hilarious. I like the varying sounds, like I, whether it's the like smooth Nashville sound or like the Sun Records sound, I like like how tough and how soft it can all be. So my new record is called No Rules Pinewood Derby. And for the release, we're throwing a real No Rules Pinewood Derby. It's like I was, I was stoned when I thought it was a good idea and now we're committed to it. So this little tree you guys are gonna be like sitting on like the back of the car. Oh my That's goodness. Oh yeah. Oh, I see my to the table. Oh, yeah. We did it! Woohoo! Yeah. Nobody lost a finger. <laughs> and then maybe like a character popping out of like two oh, so. things of like the tree. Yeah, that makes sense. We got a little like a pedestal for the winners. We've got trophies for fastest car, prettiest car, ugliest car, heaviest car, and there's another one in there too. Oh, don't look like a car. It's really become a large production, and honestly, I don't know that it's a great idea anymore, but it will happen. Well, my pains are provincial, my singing sounds like hell. If you're scratching your head and my success don't dwell. Cause if you call me ahead a good time, well, I'll soon step on the landmine Cause I always fuck it up when it's going well So I'm gonna play a song called Wooden Squirrels. The song is about a guy who falls in love with this girl and he has this relationship with her, but um, she never speaks a word to him. The whole relationship is kind of this one-sided relationship. And they, you know, they, it kind of falls apart at some point and they meet each other later in life and she's still not saying anything to him and he's still professing his love and that's kind of where I'm interested in my songwriting going is doing these really constructed stories that are um, where the, the structure of the story is really, um, you know, it's fictional, but Phil sprinkling it with um, true details to kind of make it more real. Let's go!
I'm made her head of flying J Chuck's off. She's eating wings between an awful cough. Six weeks went by and I don't think I ever heard her talk. I'm sure I never heard her talk. She always rode in the bed of my truck. Sat on my face before we fucked. With her shoes and her pants still on. Round her ankles, bunched up and stuck. She'd wear these little wooden squirrels. I play guitar and I sang to her. She hummed along when she liked a song, but she never spoke a single word. Dun 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 she used her toenail clippers to break up weed She packed her things and she moved up creek and Six years before I bumped into her At the Morford Chief From across the room I saw her make an excuse To get away from her husband I deduced I met her in aisle six between the beer and chips I was filled with tears while I let loose I told her it was elusive what we had She gave me a look like Medusa on the rag Like a thing we had was quick, quiet, and done Without saying a word, well that's that, hun She'd whittle these little wooden squirrels But play guitar and I sang to her Sound, but she never spoke a single word. Dun, 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 I don't know what I want people to think about it or what I want the final message to be because I feel like. I write songs about a lot of different stuff, so I think it'd be hard to pick one thing that the art was about, but I hope to leave behind a pile of songs and a pile of paintings, like that's, that's what I want.